So recently I did a video on the relationship between if consuming fat will slow your metabolism. Now I want to answer another question, which I pretty much answer in a lot of my live events, but I don't think I've done a video just on this one topic. Will skipping a meal slow your metabolism? So let's just talk about that. We have to differentiate skipping a meal, which is infrequent meals or intermittent fasting, from just being on a low calorie diet. These are two different things. Now, when you decrease the frequency of meals, you probably are gonna reduce the calories automatically. When you reduce your calories and you reduce your frequency of meals, you are going to not feel too good. I'll give you an example. I've done several cleanses in the past, a long time ago. One was the, I think it was the lemon water, cayenne pepper and maple syrup cleanse. You probably have done that for seven days. I think I did it for 10 days. It almost killed me. That maple syrup that I was consuming, that was just enough glucose to keep me out of ketosis, to keep my blood sugars up and down while I was basically starving to death. I was so hungry. It was very torturous. Other cleanses I've done, which involve colon cleansing and maybe just doing fruit, a little bit of fruit each day, I felt terrible, okay? So if someone brought up the concept of fasting, I would instantly reject it because it was very painful and very stressful. What I didn't know, which I know now, which if you do keto, low carb, and infrequent meals, and you do it gradually, your hunger goes away. You actually adapt to burning your own fat. As compared to keeping your frequency of meals higher, but keeping a low amount of calories, it's gonna be very difficult to switch over to get your body to burn fat as its primary fuel source because you keep dumping in um, either glucose or just the fact that you're eating frequently raises insulin a little bit to actually prevent this process from happening. So you have a lot of blood sugar symptoms over here and we don't have a lot of blood sugar issues right here. And when you actually decrease the meals, you're decreasing insulin, you're automatically increasing your metabolic rate and you're feeling really good because your brain loves ketones. So if you do a search on how to increase your metabolism, you'll find all sorts of things like drink more water, eat more protein, eat spicy foods because of the thermogenic effect, or green tea. These are trivial, very trivial. The things that affect metabolism, age, okay? As you get older, your metabolism will slow down. So you really can't do much about this one, right? Dieting, you can do something with that. You can change your diet. You can decrease the frequency of meals. So this one you can definitely do something about. Also, the diet that you were on as an infant, the foods that your mother ate when she was pregnant with you, if they were very high carb and your mother developed insulin resistance, the likelihood of you becoming a pre-diabetic goes way up. And also your metabolism later on in life is going to be slow based on what your mother ate and what you ate as an infant. Unfortunately, the baby formulas are all filled with glucose and very, very poor quality ingredients. So this is a factor. You can't go back in time to fix that. But what you can do is definitely share this information with anyone that you know is pregnant. So it's very, very vital to put attention on getting that diet corrected when someone is pregnant, which could make or break the future health of that child. Insulin, I know, I'm beating a dead horse. I've talked about this a million times. You can do something about this, okay? You can keep this lowered, decrease frequent meals, get on keto. Also, you can lower your stress. That can also help. And you should do an experiment. You should actually, instead of cutting your calories, just decrease the frequency of your meals. And you will see that you will lose way more weight then if you just cut your calories down and spread those calories out throughout the day, go ahead and try it and see for yourself.